What is up guys, Dave, back again for another truck and vlog. And we are going to deliver somewhere in Toledo today that I've never been. Uh, looks like some type of plan or something. I don't exactly know. It's a, it's a uh, food processing place. Uh, anyways, I'll put a picture up on screen. This is what it looks like here. I wanted to tell y'all before we get into that, traffic's about to stop. Uh, there was a wreck in the middle lane up the way. Uh, two cops came buzzing by us about five miles back. It's been a while now since we got warned. And uh, somebody on the other side of the road said, yeah, northbound, y'all are probably gonna be coming to a stop soon. There's a car smashed up in the middle lane. Uh, just, yeah, I see brakes now. It's all about to start. <clears throat> I'm putting on my four ways early. Yep, yep, yep. It's morning, everybody. Northbound coming to a stop. Uh, so we got warned about five miles back, like I said, that traffic would be stopping. Um, we got going on northbound here. Supposedly accident in the middle lanes, all I know. Copy on the accident, middle lane open, appreciate it. Oh, middle lane is open? <laughs> middle lane open right now, but we should open something back up. They had said it just happened, the two cops that we saw fly by us, there were no uh, cops at the scene yet, so it was a fresh accident that just happened like 15 minutes ago. Um, so hopefully it won't take too long. One guy said it was just a car in the middle um, lane smashed up. So I'm assuming when the cops get there, they're gonna try to move the car, get it to the shoulder. Um, depending on the situation, if somebody wasn't, you know, seriously injured or killed or something, you know what I mean? But luckily there's a lot of lanes here, so we should slowly move through and get through uh, it. Accident, middle lane was the only thing open. Oh, the guy on the other side. That they didn't say. I said accident. I think he he's telling people that I said accident middle lanes open. I didn't say that. I said there was an accident in the middle lane. No, southbound said there was an accident. A car smashed up in the middle lane. Fresh accident it happened about 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> I don't know what lanes open. Probably. He's exactly right because the fact that the right and the left lanes are moving means that everybody's merging into this lane because this is the only one that's going to be open, most likely. Y'all want to know something funny? Is today. You know, it is Friday the 13th. I pretty much ran my clock out today. So I'm at an hour and 20 minutes left on my clock, right? And I pretty much ran it out. Uh, I was coming from South Carolina. I picked up yesterday and I had like a 10 hour drive and I'm just like, man, I hope nothing happens. And I went from South Carolina all the way up to 15 minutes from my delivery, dude, 11 miles to my delivery, and this happens. I'm just like, when I heard it over the CB radio, I was like, of course, of course. I had a great day. No stopping whatsoever, no traffic. Everything's been good, except your normal construction slowdowns here and there, you know. It's been a great 10 hour drive, and then I get to the very end of it, and somebody had to, you know, ruin the fun out here. I know, I know. Dave, somebody's in an accident. Hopefully everybody's okay. I do, I do hope that. I don't know what the situation is up here. But I will say it does suck that went the whole flipping way. And now, here I am, 11 miles away, not able to get to my delivery. I have to pick up also here in uh, Toledo. So I got to deliver here in Toledo and then I got to pick up in Toledo. Luckily, they usually let me overnight park at the pipe place that I pick up from a lot here, so I should be able to overnight park there, and I'll be okay, but 
I just hope this doesn't take too long. It says it's a 17 minute slowdown right now. So supposedly when the guy on the other side of the road told us that the accident happened, he was like, traffic's still getting by, but that's because, you know, the cops haven't got there yet to block off traffic. Um, so now that the cops have gotten there, I'm sure that they've closed down some lanes to give themselves room to work and everything and be safe. And so that's probably what happened. So like they said, they may have moved it to the shoulder and closed off a lane or two. And now here we are. 17 minute slowdown so yeah all right let's see what the cb says see if the guys up front give us any new information this it always happens at the end of my day boy it's always at like the very end when i'm almost done man it'll either be like right before i deliver or like you right behind you shut down ahead get off at 795 yeah i'm blasted or xbox road to make a u and come back take that over to 280 and go north well i can't do nothing now i'm stuck <laughs> Or it's like right when I make a pickup, you know, like I go somewhere, it's the end of my day, I done delivered, I gotta go make this pickup, I just got loaded, yay, get my paperwork, hop in, get on the highway, boom, there's an accident. And I'm just like, God dang it, man. <laughs> Never fails. She was cute. Y'all see her? Melkin Express, LLC. I mean, they just got us going just suddenly everybody's moving. Thank God, man. I was sitting there for at least like 45 minutes, I think. Something like that. Let y'all hear a little bit of the CB radio. People going on about everything. <laughs> Typical trucker speak. Everybody griping about cars and other truckers that was pretty much the gist of the whole conversation when you're sitting in traffic it's always griping about people with phones in their hands truckers with phones in their hands truckers with their feet up on the dashboard truckers taking their 30 minute break in the fuel island uh truckers in the wrong lane these left laners over here that you know the only lane that's open is this lane. Well, it's because they don't have a CB radio, bro. They don't have a radio. They don't know. They have no clue what lane's open. I mean, of course, you know, you could tell usually by which lane's moving is the lane that's not open, um, like they said in the beginning. So, you know, but a lot of guys, they'll just hop over to that other lane and shoot to the front, you know. It's pretty common. I try not to be that guy. I try to be a good little trucker. And when they say, you know, you need to be in the middle lane drivers need to be in the middle lane that i get in the middle lane i sit in the middle lane i watch everybody you know yeah whatever whatever because i don't like being that guy that gets called out on the cb radio when i do hop in a different lane or something everybody's like what are you doing online it's the middle lane you gotta be in <laughs> these freaking idiots these new age drivers now I mean, that's probably riding with dave over there i'll be darned I'll be, I'm not even, I don't know if y'all saw in that truck there, but that was shocking. Something I've never seen before. Hmm, interesting. I'm not really going to say on video what I saw, but if y'all were able to see into that truck as he just passed, I sure did. I don't know if y'all could. That was interesting. Very interesting. I'll give y'all another shot if I'm able to, but... Oh yeah, we're almost out of it because it says right now. Uh, I can't, guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, we're stopping because it's having to merge. Guarantee y'all. I want to explain this to y'all, but I'm probably going to get some backlash if I do. But you just don't see this very often at all. Now, before you all start even getting at me, I am not being racist here at all. However, that was a driver with a turban on, and he had a CB radio. 
I'm just saying, you don't see that very often. Most guys that are, you know, of different nationality do not have CB radios. I have never, never have I seen hardly any driver, and who knows, he might not even be foreign. He might just have a turban because, you know, whatever. I'm just saying that that was pretty uh, interesting to me because usually they don't. He had a CB radio. So when I looked over and I saw, you know, he had a CB radio, I was like, I'll be damned. He likes being informed. Good, good on him, man. I'm happy about that. <laughs> but that's, that's a rarity, man. You usually don't see it. <laughs> he looked over at me too, and I got my freaking camera on and everything else. So he's probably like, uh, oh, I'm gonna be on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> It's the same thing like down in, uh, oh, hey, let me let this truck in, let me let this truck in. Go ahead, go ahead, but I'll let you, I'll let you in. I'll, let me stop without slamming on the brakes. I'll let this guy in. I'm assuming this left lane ends like we all pretty much knew. I'll let you in, buddy, if you, well, I guess he's gonna go in up ahead. I was gonna let him in, my bad, bro, my bad. I didn't see your blinker till just then. All right, all right, well, I guess I'm not gonna let anybody in then. <laughs> I was going to, man. Come on, man. I just want to get this day done, man. I'm down to 118. Well, come on, man. I just want to get this day done. Do I got to move right again, or is this it? Man, this must have been really bad, guys, to have all of this. Unless it's just how they do it with these guys. Oh, those DOT safe, Geico safety patrols. They came and woke me up one day, guys. I was on like a, it was a closed rest area. And I was on the ramp because, you know, it's far from the road. The rest area is closed. There's cones. I just pulled up to the cones with another truck. And oh my God, that is pretty bad. Dang. Woo -wee. That's really bad. All right. That was what happened. And that's why we were stopped for so long. I'm gonna go ahead and hop over because I got six miles before I need to, uh, oh. I saw that blink inside, I thought it was gonna, oh, there's something on the road up, oh, okay, I gotta get back over, I gotta get back over. There's something on the side there. I mean, I got six miles, that's a long way, so we're good. I was just gonna go ahead and get to the right, but. Uh, yeah, I got woken up by one of those, oh, coming the wrong way. I mean, I understand it's tow truck, but coming to get that car because <laughs> he can't make it the other way obviously that's actually the quickest way to do it bro just get it you know go oncoming all right now can i get over now bro he's gonna all right he's gonna pass me on the right so i mean i there was something else up here i thought so i didn't go for it but now he's just gonna pass me on the right so i was gonna get back over for everybody but now i can't there's nobody even behind me <laughs> Just this one guy. I could have gotten back over right in front of him, but I wasn't trying to do that. So I was just like, whatever, dude, like, whatever. I'll just let this dude go so I can get back over to the right. He's obviously in a hurry. We're all in a hurry because we're all late now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Oh, they're moving away. It's fine, truck. Anyways, I'll try to tell y'all was I pulled over at this rest area because it was closed. Y'all know they had the cones blocking it off. And then I pulled onto the shoulder of the on-ramp. You know, you got like almost two full lanes between you and traffic. You got the on-ramp lane and then you're on the shoulder and then you got another shoulder, that middle triangle, you know? So like it was a perfect place to take a 10 in the middle of the night when I was out of time. And I pulled over there and I went to sleep and I want to say, I don't know, three or four hours later, somebody's banging on the door. And when I woke up, I was like, oh no, I'm on this ramp. It's a cop. They're going to tell me to move. I don't have no time. I'm like, this has never happened before, right? Like, I've never been woken up by a cop telling me to move. But you hear about it sometimes, you know. Some states worse than others. Most of the time, they let us be because they know there's not enough parking for us. But not all the time. A lot of cops are just straight a-holes. A lot of states don't give a damn you know, that we don't have enough parking and they're still gonna wake you up or ticket you or whatever for parking in a no parking spot. But generally, most leave you alone. Um, and like I said, I think it's because the cops just know there's not enough freaking parking, you know? So some cops will let us be. Uh, anyway, so I got knocked on the door. So anyways, a dude knocks on my door and I'm like, man, I'm about to get told to move. I, you know, open it and there's a guy with like a vest on and I, I'm like, oh, it is a cop, sure enough. And when I roll down the window, he's like, hey, uh, I just got to check on you and make sure that you're okay. 
And then he gave me like a card and it had the Geico Safety Patrol on it. I'm pretty sure it must have been Ohio as well. It's probably in Ohio. I don't remember exactly, but that's probably what it was. And that's what made me remember when I saw those Geico Safety Patrols. I was like, oh, those, those guys, that's who they got patrolling around the state, you know? But I guess they just go up and down the highway at night to every truck on every shoulder. Knock on, he even went to the other guy. There's a guy in front of me and he was at the cones and I was the barrels and I was behind him. That's what gave me the idea to park there because I saw him and I'm like, oh yeah, let me park behind him. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm just sleeping, man. And he's like, uh, okay, just had to check on you. Everything good. And he gives me this card and it has his Geico stuff on it. Have a good night. And then he went to the guy in front of me and went and knocked on his door too. Then went back to his truck and left. And that's what I thought before I went back to sleep. I was like, man, they just go knock on every single truck's door on every single off ramp every night i mean but if you think about it you know you never know somebody could have passed out and died in their truck i guess but you're just making sure they're not having an emergency but like it's so what is this it's so common for trucks to park on the shoulder it's like you know there's a 99.9 .9 chance he's just sleeping in that truck <laughs> now if he's there for over a day or something he hadn't moved then yeah okay Let's check on it, but check it on every truck. It did seem a little bit uh, excessive to me. Do you need to get over one more or are you done? Okay, he's done. <laughs> I never did get his blinker off for a bit. I'm like, do you, do you need, I'll let you over if you need one more. One and a half miles. Keep right to I-75 North. Then All right. Exit right. Finally, man. About, we lost about an hour. Well, it was about an hour because I talked to y'all for a little bit. Then I waited about 45, 50 minutes. And I lost about an hour, but... I still got time on my clock. We don't have far to go to this Toledo pickup, so. It's gonna be right down the road from this place. So, I don't know. Worst case scenario, I guess I could do a split to go get my next load or whatever. Cause that load has to be picked up today, man. And some of the reviews on this place that we're going right now, boys, are saying, <laughs> there's a couple people saying, I was here for 10 hours trying to get loaded. I'm like, what? I'm getting unloaded. A lot of the gripes were about getting loaded. So hopefully unloading is quicker. I don't know, but it was it was mixed reactions. But there was a lot of people saying they were there for a long time. I'm really hoping that's not the case. I mean, if so, I'm just going to take a nap, but still, I mean, I want to get down. I got to pick Keep up this right next load. North, then exit right. I think that pipe place closes at like five or six or something. It's 12.05 right now, so I'm a little worried that I might not, might not be able to uh, get this load. I don't know. I know they close because they got a gate that they close at night. Because when I asked them if I could park overnight, they told me to park on the right outside of the gate that they have. Because they're like, we're going to close that tonight and you'll be stuck in here. So make sure you park outside of the gate. I'm like, okay. There's not much room out there either, but I usually find a little spot to snuggle up into. I really like that Sterling Pipe place, man. I always give them props in my videos. There's been a couple times I waited for a while, but... If a place lets me overnight park, dude, I love that place. I'm never going to say a bad word about a place that lets you overnight park, bro. <laughs> Seriously, you can, if you're going to take six hours and run me out of my clock, as long as you offer me a place to park, we good, bro. We good. <laughs> that, make, that, makes a world, that makes a world of difference. On the right yep. to Phillips, Phillips Avenue. Avenue. Then okay. Take the first left. All right, let's quit talking stories and let's let's get on out, get on through here and get this done. All right, we got to take a left at this traffic light here. God, that does not let you turn at all. <laughs> that truck's gonna run the red light because the semi took so long to turn. Good lord, look at this road. That whole road's shut down, son. They're redoing the whole thing. Ah. <sighs> All right, we got the green light. I'm gonna have to take this really freaking wide, dude, because I don't have much of an option here. I can't swing any, yeah, he, he knows, he knows. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. You can't like, you know, 
do much because the cones there, the barrels, you can't actually take it any wider than what I took it. And I had traffic on my right, so it's like, what do you do? All right, we're gonna watch the satellite now and I can see where the drive that I think it is. We're gonna try to read signs at the same time though and make sure, why do I feel like I've been here? Have, have I been here? We pulled in this little spot right here and peed. Do y'all remember this? <laughs> I pulled over here and I remember I, I, I pulled in the wrong entrance. I thought this was the entrance because it says enter right there. And you don't enter there. <laughs> you go up here and we did come here. Okay, I knew I took all this before. It's not this either. Trucks use Westgate entrance. I don't know what Westgate entrance is, but I know from last time I was here it was this one. We did it at night though. I wasn't here, oh no. Are you gonna let me? Okay, he's gonna let me, he's gonna let me. Thank you, buddy. Hey, he's smart. He knows the truck was coming in. Thank you, man. He, you gotta take it pretty much the whole road too. Make sure we got it, there we go. Thank you, appreciate you, dude. Yeah, this place is actually a pretty tight back too when I came here before. Oh no, this is where the yard dog knew. This is where we met the yard dog. Do y'all remember? I came here and there's a yard dog that was like, hey, Dave. Yeah, okay, I remember this now. Yeah, the yard dog come out. He was like, I've been watching you since you were CFI and all this stuff. And he said he used to be OTR. Maybe he'll be here again. We'll look for him. <laughs> he'll put him in another video. I, I knew something was familiar about this place. It was a drop and hook last time I came though, so maybe it's the same. Even though it says I'm a live load, maybe it is a drop and hook, boys. I'm hoping so. That's my computer saying, you are here. Well, I feel better now because I kind of know what to do. I do remember that drop yard was kind of tight, but I didn't have any problems. I was able to back it in there. But anyways, guys, let me check in and y'all probably remember this place when you see me drive through here. You might be like, oh yeah, okay, now I remember that video. You probably don't remember this because I was here at night. All right, we're in here again. So it's the same deal. Basically, I gotta go all the way around this building, park in some zone four. I can't, I don't remember a zone four. And then go into C Dock and then give them my paperwork and they tell me what to do so she didn't say if it was a drop and hook or a live load or unload so i don't know what exactly it is mile. turn right then oh. take the first left she's trying to tell me how to get to toledo because while i was waiting in line i went ahead and put her we're in toledo to the pipe place uh uh so yeah i'm hoping that this is a drop and hook there's a turn yard right. dog i wonder if it's our homie left. see if it's him see if he can tell c doc to go a little quicker for me. <laughs> There's no yard dog in there. Let's see. I kind of remember what he looks like. His face was actually uh, the thumbnail of the video, I think, when I was talking to him. Let's see. Is this guy back in there? Is this truck backing? I don't know. I don't see no four ways. I think I gotta take a right here, honestly. Let's see. No, that's, I don't think that's him. It might be him. Might be, actually. Nope, that ain't him. <laughs> Could be another yard dog here, though. So this guy's gonna be backing, actually. Where's he backing at? He has his doors open and his four ways on, so I don't want to block him if he's backing there. Once I see him start backing, I'll get out. Well, I'm not even in the way. He can back into any door there that he needs. Okay, he's going forward more, so. Okay, I'm like, how forward is he going? <laughs> okay, I guess he's not backing here. All right, cool. I guess we're good then. <laughs> Do you see his four ways on and his trailer doors open? I'm assuming he's about to go into one of these, right? That's why you shouldn't put your four ways on until you need to pull up, homie. No, he's backing. Okay, I guess he's good. We can, uh, keep on going through here. Where's our yard dog, homie, at? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, oh, sorry. 
My bad, man. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know he turned around to sight side it. I should have known he was going to sight side it because he was blindside before. So, I mean, I'd rather just go ahead and get out of his Make way. Turn, then take the first left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If that was me, I would rather the person just go and get out of my way rather than waiting there on me. Make a U turn. Oh, God. Okay, you got to stop. No, we're done with you. So, C Dog, C Dog, park in zone four. Where is zone four? We did this last time. But C Dog's like in the back, though, bro. That's Doc C right there, receiving. Okay, that's where she said park here. So, I guess I'll just pull up along here. I don't think I got a back or anything, huh? There's one truck in receiving dock. There's another dock open, though, dock two, but that's it. That's where I gotta go. All right, well, let me go check in. Boiler room entrance. Yeah, that's where we go, Dave. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Give me a minute. All right, guys, so it is not a good sign. Um, she came to the receiving window and was like, 18 pallets, fantastic, like in a sarcastic voice. And then she's like, we are really busy today. I'm just letting you know, it's probably gonna be a while. I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, like I'm always like, you know, understanding because I don't want them to make me wait longer. I can never get the, I hate these ones. <laughs> you could, twist. there we go. Sometimes you could twist them off, but. Yeah, so she said it is going, she said break the seal, throw it in for me. She said it's gonna be a while because we are really busy and I'm just like lovely. I knew my day wasn't gonna go easy today. <sighs> I knew something was gonna, I wish it was a drop and hook again. <sighs> But it was like shipping before. I think I had an empty and I was picking up a loaded. But they already had me slide my tandem, so it's gonna make it in kind of an awkward back. Bro, get <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so old Dave was over here hoping it was gonna be something quick and now it looks like it's not. I don't, I told you, I don't think that Toledo place does 24 seven shipping. I think they close at like five, man. Might be screwed. I mean, it ain't my fault, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. My dispatcher, I don't know what, like we're gonna be really busy. So it's gonna be a while is gonna be like, there's only one truck in the dock. And then there's me with 18 pallets. So like, does a long time mean like two hours? Which wouldn't be that bad, honestly. Or does a long time mean like four or five hours? Which could be really bad because then I'm not gonna make my delivery. This is gonna be awkward, dude. I don't even know how to get into this number two. I definitely can't do a turn up. I definitely have to do an angle here into dock two because there's just no room, especially with my tandems all the way slid. So we're gonna go as far as we can here, and then turn up. <clears throat> I hate that my tandems are all the way back. I hate backing like this. Y'all know I prefer backing with my tandems forward. See what we can do here. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. It ain't gonna be no thing. I'm just gonna have to do some pull up fixing because of my tandems and where they are. All right. God dang, it's freaking tandems. Dude, I suck with tandems all the way like this. Dang, I really gotta jack this thing, bro. <laughs> I really suck with my tandems like this. This is bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a bad, bad, bad. I'm going straight for his truck, dude. <laughs> that ain't no good. Uh, 
we'll just pull up and fix her. I can't jack too much because of that yellow machinery over there. So, oh, we almost had it. We almost had it. All right, let's see here. Let's look at where his truck is. Yeah, we're going straight for his truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hard left and hard right. I hate the tandems being all the way freaking back, dude. I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it. It just throws me all off for a freaking loop, man. I mean, I know how to do it. It's just, you know. <laughs> it's just an awkward fact to begin with. I mean, there's plenty of room. It's not a hard back by any means. It's plenty of room. It's just tandems all the way back and just all this room, no lines. Just like I'm trying to see where I need to... I should have pulled up a little bit more is probably what I should have done, but. Your boy would have nailed it if it was tandems forward. If it was tandems forward, oh, I would have been money. <laughs> Absolute money. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell this guy, I'm like, if it, my tandems were forward, I'd nail it every time. <laughs>